look, if you're not up to it, we can go straight back home. I'm fine, just a bit breathless. I'll come down with the flu or something. Well, do you reckon you wish you call Lucas and tell him you're too sick to study? No, I'm fine. Hey, so what do you think? About what? Scooter doofus? What or what? Hey, how come you've been avoiding me all week? Every time I see you, you go in the opposite direction. No, I don't. By the way, I didn't stand you up the other night. Brad wouldn't let me out. Oh, yeah, no. It's, it's, it's cool. I do want to go to your Bible group. No, it's fine. You don't have to do any stuff with me. Going come for a ride? Are you even old enough to ride that thing on the road? Don't you have to have a license or something? Who cares? What's the law? What if the police see you? Catch you later. Strangers say we'll ever know. That's okay, Tan. You don't have to do stuff with Annie, me. Annie, give it a rest, will you? You like her. Oh, as if you can talk. The way you drool over Lucas every time you see him. Do not! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, Lucas, you're so smart. Oh, Lucas, you're so sensitive. <laughs> you're practically obsessed with him. Shut up, I am not. <laughs> hey, guys, what's happening? Oh, not much. Annie's just drooling again. But I guess it's because she's getting the flu. Right, Annie? We have to study now, so I guess you better leave. Now. Yeah, fine by me. Happy studying. What was, what was all that about? Nothing. Jeff just being an idiot. Are you really getting sick? A little bit, but I'm okay. Uh, I've read all my books, so I'm ready when you are. Actually, before we do start, I wanted to let you know this is going to have to be our last study session. Yeah, I, I've got my HSC coming up in a couple of weeks, and it's going to take up all my spare time from now on. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. You're doing really great, though. I've got a great tutor, I suppose. <laughs> Seriously, I doubt you even need my help anymore. I mean, you know, if you're if you're having any issues, you can always call me. I thought you said you'd read this. Oh, Jeff's right, you're not well. No, I just my head's a bit fuzzy. That's all. Well, maybe we should give this a miss so you can head home. No, I just don't feel like work today, especially if it's our last session. Okay. Well, what do you want to do? I don't know. Talk. Talk about what? Whatever, just... How's your book going? Um, did you manage to finish that last chapter? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. It wasn't easy, though. I do think it's better than the version Jeff Rex, so that's all right. You worried about something? Not worried, just sad, I suppose. You missing the farm again? Yeah, and seeing Pop the other day, I'm sure he's missing us, too. And Scruffy looks so terrible. Honey, I'm sure it'll all work out, okay? How? Well, hey, your pop's got some help now. Even if it is Jonah, that's got to be an improvement, right? Hey, I uh, saw you talking to Tam earlier on. You haven't seen her again by any chance? Not since she was showing off her new scooter. Ah, oh, that'd be Matilda's new scooter. Tam said it was hers. Well, it's not. So if you see Tam or the scooter again, can you give us a call? Oh. You. I thought we sorted things out between us. Don't be mad at me, life's too short. I'm not mad. Great, so what do you want to do? Okay, what I wanted to say earlier was how come you left me out the other night instead of calling me to let me know what was going on? We had an arrangement, Tim. Don't you mean a date? It wasn't a date. Then why are you so cut up? Well, it's just you say one thing and you do another. Okay. How about you give me a second chance? And I won't stuff up. I'll be there, I promise. Hey, preacher boy! Is that your girlfriend? Have you read her anything from your Bible? I bet that's a turn on. Just ignore him, Tim. This doesn't need a big surfboard in order to make up for a tiny Tim. little brain. So are we hanging out or what? <sighs> Look, why do you want to hang out with me? You heard what those guys said, and they're not the only ones to say stuff like that. So what? You believe in God and read the Bible? Who cares? You're also totally gorgeous. So, have you got a deal? 
Well, I gotta go to the diner first. I promised Diner in it. I'd help out with a few things. After that? Okay. Alright, um, surf club. Five o'clock. Be there. You wanna ride? Oh, no. No, no I can walk. Get on. Thanks for all this, Jeff. Why do I have to dump it outside? I do not. No worries, Lee. Jeff, Hi. I saw how you got here. So? It's not Tam's scooter, it's Maddie. She stole it. Says who? Mr. Armstrong. She lies and steals. Jeff, you shouldn't be friends with her. Okay, look, Annie, she. She's nice to me, okay? She's only nice to you because she wants something from you. She's only going to get you in trouble. And you've told me to steer clear of people before and stick to the boys at church, and you were right. So maybe you should listen to your own advice. Hey! Annie said this isn't your schooner. It's Matilda's. Yeah, okay. It's not my scooter. But I'm just taking for a test ride. Rick said I could. I know he didn't. Tan, you told us it was yours. Yeah, well, your sister doesn't have all the facts. So you're saying she's making it up? I'm just saying she's a stirrer. What has she got to do with any of this anyway? Well, she was looking out for me. We do that for each other. She thinks I shouldn't even be with you. And you know what? If you can't even be honest with me, maybe she's right. Hang on. What about this morning? Me standing up for you in front of those morons? It doesn't matter. You and I are too different. No, we're not. Yeah, but Tam, us even being friends isn't going to work. You're not going anywhere. 